Hi friends, in our previous video we have seen how we have taken data from our MySQL database and displayed it in a tick enter window using tree views. Now we have added one delete row button here and we can keep on deleting rows from the tree view. But here actually this uh, rows are deleted from the tree view but not actually from the backend MySQL server. So we can close this and uh, once we start this again, we can see the all the records are back. So we'll try to now to code it in such a way that we'll first will delete the particular selection, whatever I am selecting, which is particular selection from the MySQL database first. And once it is deleted from the data and uh, from the backend, the same will be deleted from the tree view that we'll code now. Up to this code is available in our previous tutorial. You can see the output, just a tree view displaying the records, 10 records we have used. So now we'll add button to it. So let's give B1, sorry, B1 equal to TK dot button. This is in our uh, parent window. So my W is our window. Now we'll say text delete row. You can write anything you want. Now let's uh, give some bg equal to yellow, little uh, different we have given and we'll say width equal to 20. So that's all. Now we'll let us uh, place it. But before that we have to, the most important part is the command. So once the user clicks this, so command equal to, we'll say lambda, now it will do, it will operate the delete function. So delete function, it will operate fine. Now let's place it on the grid. So we'll say B1 dot grid. Now row, it will be row two second because top one is our tribute. Now we'll say column equal to row two column one. Now the button is over. Now let's write the st uh, our code for the uh, function delete because this button is once it is clicked you can see here it is the delete function which gets executed so we'll write the we'll define delete here inside this first we'll read the user selection how you will get we'll say selected item this is the variable selected item equal to now trv is the tree view whatever you have used at the top it is that we have declared it now select selection selection now this is the unique id of the uh, selection or the selected row so we got it here now what you will do this we'll say that our uh, trv or tree view now delete selected item what you are doing is whatever the user selected once the button is clicked that is deleted but note that this is not actually deleting the mysql side it is just deleting from the our tree view let's see that you can see this is displayed our uh, records now let me select one record and delete it it is deleted so like that i can keep on deleting but <laughs> but this is only deleting from our tree view it is not deleting from the back end now we'll code that part to operate our MySQL database, we'll use one try and exit block that we'll use it now. We'll paste it here and this part of the code will take it to the top because this will be executing once our database operation is successful. So we are here. This also should come here. Okay. Now inside the TRB first we'll write our execute our query. So inside that query equal to we'll write the query that is delete from student student is our table name this is from our student where where id equal to we'll use a parameterized query so we'll give us that it is a string now in the next line we'll say record set equal to my connection is the database connection whatever you have used execute now what it will execute it is the query and the data data for the which particular id this value will take it from the selected item selected item this selected item is here that is what the user has selected and this id is this is uh, the placeholder for that so this will be executed now once this execute what happens we'll write a if condition if rs dot row count the, this will figure will get how many rows are deleted 
one suppose the query is successfully executed we know this will, it will delete only one record so we'll say equal to one then that's the confirmation that we have deleted the our uh, record in the mysql database then what you will do will delete this item so trb delete command will be there if it is not in, not happened then in that case the error message will be printed so this error will be there we will write a message block here where we will be displaying it now mm, the only this particular line or this will be deleted from the tree view only if our um, database operation is successful and one record is deleted now let's try that so we'll operate it now say i am selecting this delete okay it's deleted so it is deleted actually from the database once it is deleted from the database only then only from the tree view it's getting deleted now we'll add some message moment it is deleted we'll tell the record is deleted or in case of some error we'll also try to display it that part we'll add now now let's uh, take one string variable so before that let's declare some font style we'll use it now say times now size is 10 i will give normal so font is ready now we'll say my str this is the string variable we are declaring tk dot string var is a string variable now we'll give a l1 or the a one label will uh, keep it so that will be the our message tk dot label sorry label now it is at my window now text variable equal to var variable equal to now text variable my str that is what we are declared at the top now uh, that is done then font font equal to my font this is also we are declared it now so this is fine now what you will do we'll just declare it uh, we'll config it config and say foreground equal to blue you can change to anything now we'll let us place it sorry l1 dot grid l1 grid equal to l, sorry l1 grid equal to row equal to 3 because below the bottom we are printing and column equal to 1 that's all now this is uh, what the message will give will give my str now set the message you want to give let's first initially because no operation is taken place so you'll say message here this is to identify that wire it will be printed so that's all now let's come to this place yeah so now once this is deleted what we'll do will moment the data is deleted from there now we'll say l1 dot config we'll say it uh, foreground equal to green or you can give for deletion red also you can let's say it's successful operation so it will say green and uh, then we'll set it value will set it my str dot set we'll say record deleted fine now here also we are getting one error message so here also will in case of error the same message will use it so we'll say l1 dot sorry l1 dot config here we'll give that uh, foreground dot font color is red now what the message will give is my str dot set the variable is error here this error we are getting the variable this is the error message from mysql database we can get it also so this is the message now there is a another part of it where you can display the uh, hide the message after certain time that we'll see next before that let's see so far how it works so let's run this code okay now here i am now message here message is there now let me delete this record you can see record is deleted one more record i will delete so that message will be there now i should hide that message and then after some time i should display it. the current uh, message status i will display but here one thing we are we, we want to check how the error message comes so let's for that we'll create one error now 
what you will do will create this student will make it student 6 because that table is not available so we'll generate will sql will generate error for us from mysql we'll get that and you will display it so let's uh, run this fine i'm just selecting this let's see how the message comes you can see the table my tutorial student 6 doesn't exist this is the error message we are getting from the database so that we are printing and we have set it the font color is should be red now one part is we'll try to hide this message after some time delay so a fresh message can be given let's hide the message after 300 uh, milliseconds so we'll put a uh, after method here so this will take three here you can change the value sorry 3000 millisecond three second time delay is there after that this will execute and set the my str is the string variable we have used that it will blank it means it will erase the uh, message whatever is there so this will erase after after the update suppose initially we are showing that uh, message here that also we can delete it but let's see first how this works so we'll start it now this message here is coming we can initially bring it and hide it also we'll see that now let's say delete row so okay this has uh, this message and it has gone now so because we have created one error here so now let's bring it back to normal yeah so now i have student table is there let's run this okay so now I, if i'll delete this record deleted now this message will go off after the, okay after three seconds now if i want initial message also to go off so then here i will here also i will use the same one so let's uh, run this now that message here also this will go off after three seconds so it has gone up now we'll delete one more and see it yeah this is how we our delete operation this delete operation is deleting from the mysql database and after confirmation it is deleting from the tree view